This video is brought to you by Osmocoat, the planters plant food. Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti, and you are looking at my orange patio garden. I love the color of orange in my garden because I live in western Washington. It's rather cool in the summer, and I think all these warm, you know, orange and yellow flowers, they really kind of heat up the patio, which we really like, orange cushions. But I also often recommend, no matter where you live, is the black-eyed Susan vine. Now look at this magnificent vine. It's climbing all the way up, taller than I can reach, six feet tall. This thing will keep on growing. It'll cover a tall tree practically, or you can plant this vine at the base of a mailbox, a trellis. This particular one, it has way deep inside there is a tomato cage that started it out, and then the middle of the pot, this whole thing is in a container, is a tall bamboo pole. That's what gives it this big, long, uh, tree-like look of this black-eyed Susan vine. So now here's the questions I'm going to answer about how to grow the black-eyed Susan vine. First of all, you plant them from seed. They are annual seeds, which means they're going to die in the winter. They uh, need a very warm climate. So most parts of the United States, let it grow crazy. Don't worry about it taking over. When winter comes, the whole thing's going to die to the ground. Second question is, what kind of exposure this wonderful, beautiful vine likes. It likes sun, it likes heat, because it's from a naturally a very warm tropical climate. The next question is about these. So these that I'm cutting off here, these are the long tendrils that are coming out of and will continue to come out of whatever form that you give it to grow up. Now I'm going to show you that now is a good time, summertime, about midsummer, to go ahead and just snip off any of these tendrils that you think are kind of getting out of control. You do not need to worry that you, when you remove all these green tendrils, that you are actually removing future flowers. The future flowers are not yet formed on these vines, so you can just keep cutting it off to make it tidy, and then you won't have them trying to colonize or jump on to other plants nearby. And then the last question people ask is about deadheading. Deadheading is when you remove the faded flowers to encourage more blooms. You do not need to deadhead the black-eyed Susan vine. It's a great vine for lazy gardeners because you don't need to go in and cut off the faded blooms. So here is an example. This green papery hole here has already flowered and I do not need to clip that off. Here's a faded flower here that has fallen off naturally all on its own and then it, you just what remains this green papery thing it's going to turn yellow all on its own and they will fall off the plant all on their own. So the black-eyed Susan vine does not need to be deadheaded just go ahead and snip off any of the wild and crazy vines and you'll have a pillar of glorious um, bright orange with a black eye. This vine also comes with yellow with a black eye. There's a new one that's kind of a rusty orange with a black eye. Thumbergii, or black-eyed Susan vine. A wonderful annual vine to really give some orange warm color to your patio. This has been Mary Ann Bonetti, Easy Answers for Great Gardens. If you enjoyed these gardening tips, subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on new videos and stay in the know about all things gardening. Click the red subscribe button below. See the description below for more information about how to connect with us on plantersplace.com, Facebook, and Instagram.